guys, welcome back to Bronze's Math Club. Today's topic is Wacky Wanda Method. Yes, this is going to be kind of wacky, but it's actually going to be helpful for you when it comes to percentages because it's going to be kind of like a shortcut, okay? So, let's say that we have this problem over here. It says, what is 4% of 64, okay? So, first of all, 4% of 64. So, first, in order to solve this, we have to convert the percent into a fraction. 4% as a fraction is 4 over 100, okay? Next, we have to multiply that by 64. Now, we're trying to find 4% of 64, so we don't know what the percent is, so that's going to be our y value. That's going to be our variable, okay? And 64 is going to be our denominator, of course. Now, what we need to do is we need to cross-multiply 4 and 64, okay? So when we do that, so 64 times 4 is going to give us 256. And then we have 256, and as uh, and remember to rem uh, take the 100, okay? So 256 over 100. And that's going to give us, so y is going to be equal to 2.56, okay? So that's going to be our answer for this problem. So what is 4% of 64? It's 2.56, okay? Now, let's do another example. Now we have different problem. This time, we have what is 10, per, 10 is what percent of 40, okay? So this time they're not telling you the percent, except they're telling us, um, they're asking us what percent of, is, is it, okay? So 10 is what percent of 40. Now this time we don't know the uh, percent, so it's going to be y over 100, okay? So the percent are over 100, so y is going to be a variable this time, and this represents the percent, okay? So we're going to multiply that by 10 over 40. Why is it 10 over 40? Because we're trying to find 10, 10 of 40, right? Okay, so this time we'll have to cross multiply the 100 and the 10. So, as you can see here, 100 times 10, so 100 times 10 is going to give us 1,000, okay? So that's going to be 1,000 divided by 40, okay? And 1,000 divided by 40 is going to give us 25. And this is not just going to be 25. This is going to be 25%. Or, as some people like to say it, Y is equal to 25%, okay? So, that's that for this topic. Um, Check out more videos at com and practice problems. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye.